find the Fourier cosine transform of f of x. So I will write the formula first. Fourier cosine transform is written as f c of s. So what does c mean here? It is Fourier cosine transform is equal to integral 0 to infinity f of x. Okay. Cos s x dx. Okay, so now look at my function f of x. My function f of s, x has three parts. One is 0 to 1, 1 to 4 and x greater than 4. Okay, so now let us split the limit and let us write. Okay, integral 0 to infinity is written as integral 0 to 1 plus integral 1 to 4 and the last part is greater than 4. So from 4 to infinity. So it is written as f of x cos s x dx f of x cos s x dx f of x cos s x dx. Okay. So from 0 to 1, what is my f of x? My f of x is 4x. From 1 to 4, what is my f of x? My f of x is 4 minus x. And for greater than 4, that is from 4 to infinity, my f of x is 0. Yes, let me solve this. Integral 0 to 1, 4x cos sx dx plus integral 1 to 4, 4 minus x cos sx dx plus 0 into anything is going to be 0. Okay. So now to solve this integral. See here. I have one variable term. And I have one cosine term. So when I have one variable. One cosine. I can use Bernoulli's. So I consider this as u. And I consider this as v. Okay. So how do I solve this? I write the u as such. So 4x. I write it as such. What do, do, what do I do with the V term? I integrate the V term. So when I integrate V term, I get sine yes x by yes. Fine. I put a minus sign. Now I differentiate this. So what is differentiation of 4x? Differentiation of 4x is 4. Then what do I do? I integrate this. When I integrate this, what do I get? I get minus cos yes x by yes square. This is my first part. Okay. So the first part, the limit is 0 to 1. Okay. Now let us do the second part. For this part, this is u and this is v. Okay. So u, I write it as such, 4 minus x. What do I do with the second part V? I integrate the second part. Okay. So when I integrate the second part, what will I get? I will get minus, I'm sorry, plus sine Sx by yes. Okay. Then I put a minus sign. Okay. Then when I differentiate this, I will get 0 minus 1 into. Now when I integrate this, what do I get? I get minus cos x by yes. I already have an s here. So s square. Fine. Plus. Now when I differentiate this, it becomes 0. So I stop it here. The limit is 1 to 4. Okay. Now let me solve this. I will simplify this first. So this becomes 4x into sine sx, sorry, sine sx by yes. This minus into minus becomes plus. So it is plus 4 cos sx by s square. And the limit is 0 to 1.
Likewise, when I do this, it becomes 4 minus x into sin sx by s. Okay, then minus into minus becomes plus, plus into minus becomes minus and it is cos sx by s square and the limit is 1 to 4. Fine, we come very simple, we can solve it easily. Now let me substitute the limit. First I will do the upper limit, then the lower limit. Okay, so when I do the upper limit, 4 into 1 is 4, 4 sine, instead of x I will put 1. So sine yes by yes plus 4 cos yes by s square. This is my upper limit. Upper limit minus the lower limit. What is my lower limit? My lower limit is 0. So when I substitute the lower limit, 4 into 0, it becomes 0 plus 4 into, what is cos 0? Cos 0 is 1. So it becomes 1 by s square. So why is this 1? This is 1 because it is cos 0. Okay. The first part is over. Now I come to the second part. So what is my second part? The upper limit is 4 and the lower limit is 1. So first 4 minus 4 here it becomes 0. So 0 minus. So here when I do what happens? It becomes cos s4 by s squared. So the upper limit is over minus the lower limit. What is my lower limit? My lower limit is 1. Okay. So 4 minus 1 becomes 3. Okay. Then it is sine. Here instead of x, I'll put this 1. So sine yes by yes minus cos yes by s squared. Okay. Now. I will simplify it. When I simplify this, I will get 4 sin yes by yes plus 4 cos yes by s square. Take this minus sign inside. Minus 4 by s square. Okay. Then plus. So plus into minus is minus cos 4 yes by s square minus 3. Sin yes by yes minus into minus is plus cos yes by s square. Clear till here? Okay. So first, let me take the first term. This is 4 sin s by yes, whereas this is minus 3 sin s by yes. So when I join this, is when I do the minus operation, 4 minus 3 becomes 1. So it becomes 1 sin yes by yes. Okay. So this is over. This is over. Okay. Next I will take the other one. 4 cos s by s square. Okay. And this is cos s by s square. So this is a plus operation. 4 plus 1 becomes 5. So 5 cos s by s square. Okay. So remaining these two terms I cannot join. So I write it as such. Minus 4 by s square minus cos 4 yes by s square. Okay. So this becomes sine yes by yes. Okay. Plus I take this s square common. So I will have 5 cos yes minus 4 minus cos 4 yes. Okay. So this is my Fourier cosine transform. Okay, this is my Fourier cosine transform. You have any doubts, you can contact me.